So I saw this post, and I think it's worth remembering that my favorite artist in Magic the Gathering, one of the reasons I started playing Magic the Gathering, was let go because of her wife's opinions on certain conservative issues. And again, these are not her opinions. These are her wife's opinions, right? And then, of course, we we would later know that the MPL legend, uh, Adam Bruccelli, would write no turfs on gruel, thus ending her career. Other people, such as Reed Duke, would cross out force of will. Still something that people are doing now. And this shows you that if you have a different opinion than others, uh, they will cancel you in Magic the Gathering. And this is where I think I'm still boycotting Magic. I'm not buying any new products. Um, I may buy collections. I haven't bought a collection, a Magic collection for a while. Mostly just Pokemon collections. But it is interesting that when their political views are different, they have to cancel they have to get canceled, right? Um, and again, on the flip side, um, Teresa Nielsen, she has a website. She's still doing artwork. It does suck. She's not doing artwork for Magic the Gathering anymore. I would like to see her... Um, I would like to see her come back to the game. I think she is a historical part of the game. The worst part of this witch hunt was Travis Allen's evidence that Teresa Nielsen was a bad person was her wife followed and retweeted the wrong people and had the wrong opinion about things. Imagine being canceled not because of something you said or did, but because your spouse has the wrong opinion. Imagine leftists canceling you because your lesbian wife who you've gay married to isn't left enough. Um, so basically, I think today society is very different from 2018 where Donald Trump was president and people were being canceled left and right, left and right. Um, it's kind of scary. It, it really is scary how just random people, artists, and somebody as respected, like, you understand, like, before this, Teresa Nielsen was highly, highly respected in the Magic the Gathering community, and then they, a random dude one day starts tweeting stuff and starts digging into Teresa's wife's account, right, lesbian wife's account, and notice, oh, wait a second, this, she's a Republican, oh, no, and then uh, they canceled her, like, they legitimately canceled her to the point that she's not making any more artwork for Magic the Gathering, even though some of the most iconic artwork come from her. Um, and then you got people like Reed Duke and Autumn Bruchel. I mean, it's just so bad. You know, I, I don't think I can ever forgive Magic the Gathering for this, ever. They essentially just ran out my favorite artist, and there's still no apology there's still no i mean and these people were still running making content today it's weird but also really really scary in my opinion that that there are people out there who basically this is what they do for a living they do this and without you know any repercussion without any you know, the guy hasn't posted on Twitter since September 20th, 27th, 2023. He just, one day he woke up and decided violence. And then that's it. Um, that's magic players for like, he's not even like a real magic player right, anymore. <laughs> he just ruins people's lives. Yeah, it, it's interesting. Um, you know, the digging and social media, the tweet, the tweeting and... You know, I mean, it, it is, social media is so bad. Tw X Twitter is just so bad that people can do this. And they can feel they can get away with it. And I think one of the biggest supporters of this was Erin Campbell. If you guys remember her, she was a trans individual. And she attacked everyone. 
just so ferocious, so mean-spirited, really. And then later on, they did this exactly to her. And it turned out she was a racist. Like, not just, like, a borderline race. No, there were many things that were straight-up racism. Um, and even her good friend, I think his name was Anthony, who was a pro Magic player, he was a African-American non-binary individual, I believe. And even he came out and said, man, like, this stuff that you've been saying is just straight-up racist, Aaron. And that was, like, her, her, like, really good friend. And then you read the comments about chickens and watermelons, and it's just like, come on, dude. Like, like how, how could this person say this type of stuff? And then, and then feel like, oh, you know, we got to cancel Teresa. And was, I mean, look at the work this guy is doing. Um, and very few people, um, very few people uh, stood up. Very few people said, you know what? I don't think this is right, guys. Let's just leave her alone. Um, yeah, can you imagine hating yourself so much you have to ruin someone else's career to make yourself feel better? The worst part is Wizard Coast just canceled her without actually doing market research and asking fans. Yeah, they, they just simply can't. One day, she was over. Once Autumn Bercelli did it, it was over. It was over, it was over, it was over. Um, crazy. You know, I'm never going to forgive them for this. This is pretty... Uh, you guys have to remember um, that this is Magic the Gat. This is uh, not not a good game, guys. Not a great game. And the people, like, in the game, not the friendliest, not the nicest, not, I mean, they're just, I mean, they're just them, right? I, I don't really know how else to say it. Bye, guys.